So any doctor who would look at that lab panel for you and look at your before and look at your after and say, this is a very unhealthy diet. Your LDL cholesterol went up. You need a statin. That's a doctor who you should fire their ass. Does that make sense? Because you have literally improved every single marker of metabolic health known to humankind, but your LDL went up. So therefore, that's it. All bets are off. Take a statin and never eat that way again. You start to see the idiocy of that kind of medical practice when you when you're like when you figure out what a C peptide actually means and what an A1C actually means, triglycerides, HDL, all these things. When you, when you really grasp the physiology behind them. And you're like, and and you're worried about my LDL? Yeah, you're fired. Yeah. And I don't blame people for doing that because that's just, that's lunacy. Yeah, it is lunacy. And speaking of which, so George Allen, who's in the Keto Camp Academy, I'm going to show his comment right here on the screen. He's watching. <clears throat> Dr. Barry, well, he's a big fan of yours, by the way. Dr. Barry, my cholesterol is elevated. My doctor is trying to get me to take statins. I refuse them. Will my LDL slash HDL levels normalize? I'm diabetic. I'm off insulin, just bumping up my metformin. A1C is dropping too. Yeah. Hey, George, that sounds like you're well on your way to reversing your health back to good health. Uh, if you've never had a heart attack, <clears throat> if you have a CAC score less than a thousand, uh, then there's there's literally no research whatsoever that shows that you would derive any benefit whatsoever from taking a statin at any strength. So uh, I think the research is very clear about that. Now, if you've had a previous heart attack or if you have a CAC score above a thousand, then you might, might benefit a tiny bit from taking a very low dose statin. Uh, so George, here's how I like to, to, to explain it to patients and it helps them understand. I've got a shotgun in this hand with a 12 gauge loaded with buckshot and I got a BB gun in this hand, okay? I'm about to shoot you with one of them, but that, that's the bad news. The good news is you get to pick which one I shoot you with, okay? The LDL is, is the BB gun. And the 12 gauge shotgun is an elevated A1C, an elevated C peptide, elevated triglycerides, low HDL, and then in, in, uh, elevated levels of inflammatory inflammation. Which one do you pick? So LDL may not be blameless if it's super high and you've got other risk factors, but I would much rather be shot with a BB gun than with a 12 gauge shotgun any day of the week. And I think that is the relevant uh, description of the relative risks of those two conditions. If you are metabolically unhealthy, have metabolic syndrome, a doctor shouldn't give a damn what your LDL is. They need to focus all of their time and energy and prescriptions on getting your me metabolic syndrome under control. If you have reversed metabolic syndrome, you are so much healthier now that I don't give a damn what your LDL is. I really don't. I don't care, especially I don't care what your total cholesterol is. But I don't care very much about your LDL cholesterol either because you have transformed your health by getting rid of metabolic syndrome, by getting, getting rid of prediabetes or type 2 diabetes, by getting rid of hyperinsulinemia. You have improved your health so much that an elevated LDL, in my opinion, becomes background noise. It's static. I don't really care. I love that analogy with the BB gun and the shotgun. It makes so much sense. So that was super helpful for George. Thank you. 